Hey there internet, so today I'm going to be redoing my daily makeup basket. Um, if you've seen these before, you know what they are. If you haven't, I'm sure you'll figure it out real quick. So I'm just going to get right into it because I've got people coming over soon. So all the stuff up here is all staying because it's all Project Pan things. Um, working on a couple foundations, working on a concealer and a bronzer and a contour. So. This is all going to stay into the face palettes. I think this, oh, here it is. These two I used a pretty good amount. I still love this Naked Cosmetics highlighter palette so much. But I'm going to take it out so I can do other things. Um, for foundations, I had only originally pulled in this Milani one, but it's so dark. But I pulled in this LA Girl Pro Matte, and it looked really good mixed together with about three pumps of this and one pump of that. So both of these are in the lightest shade. This one's too light for me, this one's way too dark for me, so um, it worked well, it was a good combination. Uh, for powder, I've been using this for two things so far, two um, daily makeup baskets, so I'm gonna pull it out even though I really like it. I just put this in, it's kind of a good touch up thing, which is good because it's pretty hot out, so I've been sweating a lot. Um, and I'm going to pull this guy out. I did use it as well. It's still a little dark for me, um, but that's all right. All right, so going into bronzers, I've used both of these. The Milani Dolce, which is the lightest one, and the little Tarte Hotel Ares. Sorry like if this is shaky. I have tremors in my hands because of stuff, so um, if if I can't hold something still, I apologize, but I'm, I'm not doing it on purpose. All right, and then all of these highlighters are going to go. I've used them all. I love them all. They're all great. Um, yeah, lovely. This is Jouer. I think it's one of the rose gold. Yeah, I really love this Physicians Formula one. It's in pearl. It's great for when I'm doing something a little bit more natural. I'll put on like the Essence Pure Nude, and then I'll put this just at the, the top of my cheekbones, and it gives that extra boost, but it's not all over. Although I do put it all over sometimes too, so. All right, and then for blushes, I use all of these as well. I think I'm gonna declutter this guy though. This is the Pixie by Petra. It says it's a blush duo in Peach Honey, but it's really not. It's more of a highlighter, and I just don't really like it as much as the highlighter, so I'm just not gonna have it in my collection anymore and hopefully someone else who I can give it to will like it more. So um, this Laura Geller Pink Buttercream is absolutely beautiful. If you are thinking about buying one of the baked blushes, it's gorgeous. And then this ColourPop one, um, which I never remember the name of it, but this is what it looks like. It's showing up way, there we go, that's better. I say it down here, it looks really orange, but um, that is crazy how the color just changes. Um, and then concealers, I'm going to take out the Naked Skin, I'm going to take out the NYX, I'm going to take out the Julep, and then the rest of these are just Project Pan items. Yeah, almost done with this guy, almost done with this guy, I've got the stopper out. I need to keep working on this Ulta one, which is on Project Pan, but I'm sure once I finish this guy, um, I'll be able to focus more on this. It's also a little bit dark for me, which is why I never want to wear it. All right, so now we're on to face palettes. So I think I want to pull in, um, I just had the Hourglass one in. I haven't had this one in a while. This is the Laura Geller Hollywood Blushing Baked Blush Trio. Doesn't have anything on that side. But it's got Honeysuckle, Bora Bora, and Pink Grapefruit. I like this one a lot. And then, let's see here. What's in this one? Oopsies. This is the real her. No, I don't want two just blush duos, or blush trios. Um, so I think I'll leave this for now, as is, because I've got some singles I want to pull in. Actually, I just got this in the Color Curate subscription bag. Um, this is the Glow Dip Bronzer Trio. These are very shimmery bronzers. But honestly, I put it on over a bronzer before, and it looks pretty good. So um, you can't really tell in this lighting, but this one's very cool tone. This one's pretty light, and this one is 
like a warmer it's not too dark though which is nice because you know i'm super pale all right so now we are into the stockpile of everything else so for powders i have two new powders this color pop no filter powder in fair and another one that i don't think i put away yet and it's up here it's up here behind me um the Balm Sexy Mama Translucent. So I'm gonna try these two. Um, and hopefully one of those is good. If not, I'll probably, I'm gonna bring this one in just in case one of these isn't good, but I'm not gonna try and focus on using it if the other two are good, if that makes any sense at all. All right, let's go on to bronzers. I would like to bring in, I want to bring in a powder contour, so I'm going to bring in NYX Taupe Blush, which I don't know anyone who uses that as a blush, but that's what it's called. I'm also going to bring in, let's bring in this ColourPop one. I need to figure out if I actually want to keep it. It's quite dark on me and quite red, but I think as my skills have increased, I might be better at wearing it. And then I want to try this Milk Makeup Bronzer that I got. It's like a mini size that I got in an Ipsy. I got it a long time ago and I need to figure out if I like it. I've finally gotten to the point in my makeup collection that I'm like starting to be willing to let go of things. So I'm trying to just, you know, evaluate everything. Alright, blushes. Okay. I have these two new ones from the balm, which I'm going to bring in. This is the Instain blush in oh, Toile, Toile, something. It's got really pretty packaging because it's got the Toile, Toile pa um, pattern in it. It's a pretty bright pinky blush. And then I'm going to bring in Down Boy. Which, this is not the color that I it looked like on line, which I'm kind of bummed, because it looked like it was like a kind of more cool purpley tone, but this is fine, and I'm going to wear it, because I bought it. Bring in those two, and I think I'm going to bring in, hmm, I just had pink the town in. Why don't I bring in Hot Mama, just because I've got so many other balm things in there already. This one's really pretty. I love this. And one more, maybe. I think... I really want to bring in this. This is another one that I need to try out. I got it from someone who was getting rid of it, and I've never actually used it. It's the Bright Idea Illuminating Stick in Sun Kissed Crush. And that's what it looks like, which here, I'll put it on my leg so we can kind of see what it looks like, just because I don't have, so that's kind of what it looks like. I guess it's not really a blush, is it? It's more of a shiny. I don't know. This video is a mess. I'll try it. If I don't like it, get rid of it. I didn't pay for it anyways, which makes it easier to let it go. All right. Normal colored highlights. I want to bring in the Give Me Glow in Halo. This isn't really a normal highlight. This is like the most stunning silver gold flip. Like look, white, gold, it's intense. If you love intense highlighters, get it. I don't know why this keeps ending up in this one. This should be in the not normal one, but I'm going to bring it in because I love this. It's the Diamond Dust Laura Geller fake swirl highlighter and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, what else? I want to bring in the other pixie one. This is the lighter one. This is London Luster. And since we're trying things that I've never tried before, let's bring in this Suva Beauty Illuminating Drops, Liquid Chrome Illuminating Drops in Opulence. It's a good, a good word. Especially to describe a highlighter. And, okay, we'll leave the rest. Bring in some colorful ones. 
concealers. Oh, I want to bring in a ColourPop one because I've got the ColourPop, uh, whatever it's called. Which one's this? Fair 5. Nope, that's too dark for me. Fair 8. Fair 6. Fair 2. Let's bring in Fair 6 because I am a little bit darker than my winter shade right now. Um, and then that's it. Yeah, and I'll focus on my other stuff. I feel like I had more concealers than that. I guess I don't. I guess that's probably a good thing. Um, foundation. So I'm going to bring in two new ones. ColourPop No Filter in Fair 15, which isn't actually the lightest shade, which is pretty rare for me. And then this Even Steven Whipped Foundation in Lighter Than Light. This looks dark, but I, I um, put it on my hand. And you can't even really tell the difference. It's a little pinky, but I think it'll be fine. So I'll bring in those two. And then um, let's bring in one more. How about the Born This Way? Because this is reliable in case I don't like the other two. This is in Snow or Swan, which I think is the lightest one. I really like that uh, foundation. All right, now Bizarre Colored Highlighters, which are obviously one of my favorites. Um, wow, there's just so many things in here. Okay, let's do stuff. Let me bring in a Moonlighter Centipede. Which one's this? It's a goldy one. That'll work. And let's bring in this this one this winky lux one that i just got in some sort of box this is in charm Let's see if it'll focus yep this is really pretty it's supposed to be holographic so we'll see oh i just put my finger in it yay hold on let me see if i can get it to once again, sorry this is so shaky, but can't really do anything about it. So, I would also like to bring in, how about I bring in this Clean Slate highlighter, which is in, oopsies, ah, sorry about that, it's my laundry thing. This is in Rosario Glow, and it's kind of like a pinky with a blue flip to it which I love me some blue highlight and it's got glitter in it which is fun um and then maybe one more it's cause you can never have enough colorful highlighters how about we do let's see I've got a pinky blue I've got another pinky one I've got another pinky one I've got gold how about a green I need a green. Where is a green highlighter? How about we bring in this Ulta Beauty one? This is the rainbow highlighter, but it comes out to be pretty greenish at the end of it. And I can also focus on the green shade in there. So I'll bring that one in. I also have gotten way too many of these Stila ones. I'm, and I've been keeping two or three in my, um, my eye makeup collection. So I'm going to bring in a couple different ones for this. Let's bring in Fairy Tale, which looks like that. And let's bring in this one, Jezebel, which I think this is a shimmering glow, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then one more, let's bring in this Kitten Karma, just because it's a little one. And this is my oldest one, I need to keep using it up. So I'll bring those three in. And the rest of my eye stuff stays constant, so. By the way, the ones I'm taking out are Perlina, which is my favorite, Gold Goddess, and Wanderlust. All right, so now we've got our new setup. I've got the Suva Beauty one up here. Um, this face palette drawer is pretty empty, but that's all right, because the rest of the drawers are pretty full. Uh, powder, 
foundation highlighter not too many which is probably good uh, concealer pretty light as well blushes and bronzers so I thought I pulled more but I I like to not have too many so I think this will be good and yeah so if you like these kinds of videos go ahead and subscribe I make them every two and a half weeks ish and I also make other videos and I'm trying to make more like chatty videos and something other than these videos and empties so if you have any ideas leave them down below and hope you're having a good day see you when I see ya bye